about it? Uh, my name's Paul Bogdanich. I'm from Portland, Oregon, out here launching at our main site in Brothers, Oregon. Um, I submitted an article, which you so graciously published, uh, to Rockets Magazine uh, concerning a variant of that. If you look at the center of it, you can see that it has an aluminum um, electronics bay. And the bay is threaded top and bottom, and the idea is that you can use the same bay on different configurations. Uh, I have three different configurations with me that I'm going to launch uh, this weekend. This is the uh, lowest power. That's on a 720 case. It's 35 inches long, dual deploy, weighs 1,600 grams. Should do about 8,300 feet. Uh, the largest rocket using that bay uh, flies a large um, 54 millimeter motor and, should, and does about 24,000 feet. So, uh, you know, it's flown before, seems to work good, and, uh, you know, just hoping to get it lit. What about the nose cone? Uh, Something unique about that you're talking about. Oh, the, uh, yeah. Um, uh, the nose cone is, um, I read an article uh, by a gentleman, and he was saying that for things that go less than about Mach 2, Mach 2.2, something in that range, that the best shape is, uh, is what they use on, like, fighter aircraft, which is not quite as pointy uh, and is a little bit duller, you know. And so uh, the best one for rockets is a power, according to this gentleman, was a power series N to the one half. So um, uh, I went to a machine shop, had a blank built, and then uh, uh, cast it in epoxy, you know, with hollow, obviously. It's got, uh, the walls are about an eighth of an inch thick, you know, roughly, 0.1. And um, uh, it's uh, the epoxy that was used is aluminum filled, and it was used for the uh, bottom layer of stamping molds. So you can hit that stuff with a hammer, and uh, it'll leave like a waffle mark from the hammer, but it won't break it and it kind of comes back to shape. So it's, it's a, a durable thing. Uh, transmitters, you know, don't like it. It's kind of like carbon fiber it interferes with the transmitter a little bit, but it's, uh, it's nice. It's heavy. It weighs about 275 grams, but I needed some nose weight anyway. So, so how many times have you flown that nose cone? On the order of half a dozen. All right. You know, maybe more. Okay, we'll catch up with you later on the other side. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, I got that.